Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, today we got a Google locked, uh, account locked, Galaxy S7. And as you can see here, see if we can zoom on on that, the FRP lock is on. And I'm going to go ahead and show you today, regardless of firmware version, on how to remove that lock. So, first of all, you're going to need ADB installed on your computer. And as you can see on the screen there, there's going to be a command line that you're going to need to run. Um, we'll save that for later here. The first part's going to be on the phone, you're going to want to boot into maintenance mode. You're going to hold down the volume key and the power button. And the phone should power cycle. And just keep holding it until basically this screen here it comes up. So we're going to go to option 5 to enable USB debug mode. And go ahead and hit the home button. And the phone should reboot. Okay. All right, here we go. We got that dreaded verify your account and we cannot hit the next button and we cannot bypass it. So, um, what we're going to do is go ahead and put this in maintenance mode like we did previously. So, we're going to go volume down and power button. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go to option five home button and that's going to restart us into USB debugging mode
next prompt here and wait until we get that USB debugging prompt. There we go. We're going to go ahead and to always allow from this computer and hit OK. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our PC. And we are going to go ahead and run that command. Okay, you should just get your command prompt back. And we're going to go ahead and hit next. Now if this works, uh, what, what's going to happen is it's going to skip the rest of the setup and go straight to the home screen. Um, but there is a chance you might get what will happen here in a second. And if you do, we're going to show you how to how to get around that. All right. Well, this one actually went through. Um, sometimes what will happen is you will get a um, notification saying uh, this phone must be set up. And once you hit uh, the OK or uh, set up set up device or set up phone whatever the prompt is it'll take you all the way back to the beginning if you do get that um, what you need to do is after the Wi-Fi setup um, hit next and as soon as it says check checking info um, that is when you want to run that command um, and you can just play around with it if it doesn't work just uh, try try to flood the flood the commands to the PC one way you can do that, going back to the computer, is uh, hitting the the up arrow will bring up that last command, so you don't have to retype that whole thing, and then you can hit enter. Um, but we're going to go ahead and hit uh, allow here, it doesn't matter, and we're going to go back into settings, and our Google account is gone. So, and we are able to add a new account. There you can just go ahead and sign in. And this does stay um, even after a factor reset. That will um, stay out there. And just to go, sh go ahead and show you, I will restart this. There you go. Go straight to the uh, the main screen there, and again under accounts, it's still gone. And we can also do a. Let's go ahead and try to do a factory reset. without having signed into any account mm -hmm. um, we did lo I did lock this with my gmail account so had this not worked we would have been able to go ahead and unlock it
Okay, let's run through this setup. And then I'll have to put my password in again. Okay, let's hit next. I haven't ever tried this. What I did before was just went ahead and added a Gmail account um, and then did a factory reset or remove the account, factory wipe it. But I've never just went straight through, removed the account, and then um, did a factory reset within the phone. So I'm not really sure if this will be still locked out or not. So I will be curious to see what happens here. Okay, so it is still bypassed. There you go. So that is by far easier than doing um, engineer kernel workarounds or you know hitting learn more, doing all these crazy things, going into a browser, downloading applications and and whatnot some of the other various uh, bypasses that are out there um, but this did work on here and hopefully this video helps you all out